Tempo. Hello my Cancer friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be a general, honor, blah, 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 general energy snapshot, I can tell you, Mercury retrograde is here, <laughs> for November, whoa, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Seven of Wands, so falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions and invitation to a social event, we have defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So feeling very emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative, you know, feeling enthusiastic about the road ahead. That's excellent for my cancer friends. I'm so glad energy has changed for you. You know, this is about understanding who you are. You can't defend your beliefs and stand your ground until you understand who you are as a person and what it even is you believe, right? All right, let's see what's going on here. My cancer friends are all up in the feels. I got a good feeling about your guys' holidays. Y'all gonna propose marriage to somebody? Are y'all gonna level up your relationship? What's it about? What's this about? Celebration. Coming together with family and enjoying things definitely could be going to a celebration or even throwing one. People drinking in your honor. After what time seemed like everything was just a dead ending in your life, the brand new has come in and taken you to a new phase. We have a hermit going inward. You've looked, it's like you're unpacking in your thoughts about where you've been where you're headed, where you're at now, and the best route forward. You could also be dealing with a Virgo in some way, shape, or form, hopping on your trusty steed to take something to a Virgo that is going to make them incredibly happy, make you incredibly happy. It's going to give them reason to contemplate. What I'm getting here is why it is that they didn't believe in themselves enough in the first place. Queen of Swords, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini coming in here. This is someone embodying the energy to cutting out the BS, bringing balance, fairness, and justice to a situation. It's almost like saying, I love you regardless. I don't care how you present. If you feel yourself as a page or not mature enough or don't make enough money, this Virgo could be, if it is a Virgo, not even, could be anybody, but could be having a new inflow of abundance. You could be also dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, I want to say that we've got some family situation going on here again. A celebration with... Someone who's very concerned about fairness and justice and someone who's very passionate, knows what they do want, knows what they don't want. Perhaps this other person for some time thought that they were just in and out of your life haphazardly. I think this is communication coming towards you fast about hmm. so in some way you could be making a head over heart decision an intuitive decision that brings about a celebration passionate messages coming your way there's been a, a temporary pause while you take the time to sit there and see what you've built but you're dealing with shadow energy that has something to do i'm getting with money and it's kind of like i wanted to wait to do this until 
someone got a job or until someone brought in more money or until there was equal equal footing, equal balance. Tower moment coming your way, huh? This information, this me these messages coming in is a tower moment. It's the divine working in the background to taking you through some emotional waters. They're not choppy waters, though. They're just waters bringing two people together. Someone could feel like they're afraid this will come back to bite them. And the other person feels like it's just been a big, long, hard, lonely, dry spell. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or during Scorpio season, you're going to be brought together with somebody for a new start, new home, new job, new place of employment. This is about a transformation, something transforming in a massive way. Ah, this is a leveling up. Someone could be asking someone either, I guess, to go steady or propose marriage. It's like a relationship leveling up. There, you are feeling conflicted about how to deal with this because you're using your head and not your heart. You want to be smart about it. Your heart wants to do it, but at the same time, I don't think you're letting yourself flow very easily. There's that passionate offer. Passionate brand new start. We got the brand new cup. Ace of Cups. Yeah. And it puts an ending, an absolute dead ending to something. We got the Seven of Fire, Seven of Wands. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Someone might not agree with the decision you're making in some way and be sending messages about their lack of agreement which may cause a lot of conflict or you're afraid in telling them about that it will cause conflict it's got you all up in your head however i see you being able to move forward but at a slow and steady pace all up in your head about an ending something coming to an end or transforming and not seeing the positive in this situation You have beauty that's here. It's like there's unfounded fears almost like what I'm getting. Feeling there's your guys' energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be getting an offer from a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That moves you forward quickly to hmm, something to do with a Pisces here. Or very heightened intuition about how to move forward for the long term. There is a victory. This is by divine right an absolute victory. But I think you're very concerned about how people are going to feel about it. It's a gift straight from the hand of the divine. When I get this, the Ten of Pentacles, I get the Victory card and the Six of Pentacles all in a row. This is about gift, giving of time, effort, and energy. This is about a win, an absolute victory, an award perhaps, a job leveling up. You could be getting a promotion. And this is about the money coming in due to it. Maybe you've been wondering if you were going to get the promotion. Maybe you didn't get as much as you thought you were going to get, so it caused inner conflict. Taking that leap of faith forward to having equal reciprocity, taking control of the situation, making a decision. Could be dealing with a father figure or a landlord, a, a landlord-tenant relationship, boss, CEO, making a decision to have a creative start. Ah, I see someone in a job front very well, maybe put in a different sector of the job. And there is some sort of, sort of, uh, planned trajectory that you had to move forward and this new offer and the messages coming in about it is going to have you have to 
uh, cause quite a bit of change in the work environment. And I don't think you think it's very positive. Oh, but damn, is it ever. So on this side, we have the Page of Earth. There we go, the Page of Pentacles again. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study, thinking about going back to school. We have the Five of Pentacles, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So someone could be going into self-employment and you're, you're concerned about how that's going to pan out. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back, the moon card. So the new the moon, full moon, I'm not sure when the moons are this month. I haven't actually looked into it. Let's uh, pull a couple cards here. Give me a card, please, on this page of Earth. We have Capricorn, shadow, fear of going back to school, fear of having to learn something new. Will it be good enough at it? You're tied to a belief system in yourself, possibly, that you have a hard time learning. Yeah, the moon card again. A whole lot of lack of clarity, but important insights coming about self-employment. A truth being spoken that gives way to the fog of illusion. The divine changing your trajectory. Something you thought was dead and gone, you'd never go back to. Never do again. Messages coming in about that. You're very concerned about how people are going to feel or think. It's a brand new start for you and the divine says you have everything in your arsenal to do it. Everything you could possibly want is within reach. Advice from the angels, please. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits yourself as well as others. See, somebody is concerned about going to school. I think you could be getting an apprenticeship or an opportunity to really get a, make a lot of money. But schooling and study and education helps your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. Someone's concerned about the type of student they will make. I have to remind you guys that as adults, we learn far different, far more differently than we did as, as children. We're able to focus better. We're able to understand that the things we're learning, uh, it's almost like we're more invested. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. I believe this is the divine asking you to get out of your head and more into your body. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. This is beautiful. My cancer friends, there is so much beauty coming your way. You must get up out of your head and out of your fears and step into the power that is you. Because I am telling you, what's coming for you, my friends, what's coming for you is absolute beauty. Contracts, an offer, financial abundance that is going to change your life as you know it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so happy, but you're going to have to step past your fears, my friends. Definitely. Blessings to you, and I'll talk to you again soon.